Hi everybody, welcome down to Jamiro Golf Estates. My name is Andy Carter and welcome to Carter's Golf YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please do hit that subscribe button, click the bell also for notifications. Great to have you with us and hopefully you enjoy this video today. Because today's video is all about my pet peeves as a golf coach. I, the, the two things that I hate uh, a lot of my clients listening to on the golf course when they're speaking to their friends is, you lifted your head, slow your swing down. They are the two things that I think most golf coaches as well just want to have th completely thrown out of golf. They are, they are the, it's the, probably the two piece, worst piece of advice you could be given. But they're all done in nice gestures. They're your friends just trying to give you a bit of advice after a bad shot. Today's video is just about trying to swing, swing with confidence. If you're playing bad, if you're hitting the golf ball 50 yards from left to right, then that's fine. Just hit the ball 50. If you're on the first tee and you hit a big left, left to right or at 50 yards and it goes into the trees, and then you get on the second hole, you do the same, get on the third hole, you do the same, then you've got to start aiming left. You've got to start aiming left, but then you can't change your golf swing as well. I could go out and play a 50 yard slice, fade, whatever, and still shoot a relatively okay score. Just getting around the golf course is key. But the worst thing we can do is go in our shell, keep the head down and slow it down. Imagine a golfer keeping the head down and slowing it down. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Okay, so regardless of the shot that you're hitting, we have to try and maintain that level of confidence. If the ball's moving from left to right, the key things we wanna see in the golf swing, we wanna see hip turn, we wanna see shoulder turn, and as you're coming into impact, particularly those that move the ball from left to right, we wanna see the arms rotating, we wanna see the forearms turning, the club face rotating. Try and hit the ball left if you're a slicer, try and hit the ball to the right if you're a hooker, okay? so. Trying to make sure that on your practice swings, you've just got plenty of rotation. Trying to keep your speed. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Try and keep your uh, try and keep your rotation going because that's what's going to help keep your speed. Try to keep your speed up. So again, if you are going to hit a 50 yard left to righter, at least you're still going to get some sort of distance out of it. If you slow the swing down, you're still going to hit the ball maybe 40 yards left to right, and you just lost another 50 yards. So trying to swing with confidence. Let the lower body let the lower body and let the upper body start to rotate. Start to try and find a way to get around the golf course on that bad day. If the ball's moving so much in the air, then allow for it. Allow for the ball to move from left to right. Allow the ball to still travel though. We've still got to try and eat up as much of that hole as, po as, as possible. I think as a, general, as a general rule of thumb, what I would say to every golfer is, try and get the feeling that you've got your good grip, you've got your posture, You've got your shoulders rotating as much as possible, and then through impact, you get into your finished position. I think they're the four key areas that a golfer playing poorly could just call upon. Rather than, is my takeaway right? Is my weight right? Is my head up? Is my head down? Am I swinging too fast? Am I swinging too slow? These, are, these, are, these aren't very representative of a typical golf swing. I would always say, get back to basics, grip, Stand neutral, stand good, good strong posture. Don't get tired, don't get kind of lazy or again, certainly with lack, lack of confidence, we start to kind of hunch over and get into our shell again. Good strong posture, you're playing badly, okay, that's golf. Keep your posture, keep your grip. I wanna still get a good full golf swing, so I want my lower body and my upper body to work together and get that rotation. And it's important that from there, we still get into a solid rotation on the way through the shot. We're going to hit a bad shot, we're going to miss the green, but at least we're missing it at the right distance, so then we can go and call up on our chipping and putting. Okay, so really important, trying to maintain your level of confidence on the golf course while it's playing bad is so, so difficult, but I think if you've got those four areas to come back to, grip, posture, good strong rotation into your backswing, good coil up into the backswing, and then a good rotation through impact, You've got four areas to call upon whether you're playing well or in particular when you're playing bad. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. It's not something where I'm saying change this, 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 and this. This is a golf tip purely based around if you're on the golf course, you're playing bad, don't try to diagnose it because it's going to be difficult. You haven't seen it on camera. You won't, the only advice you're getting is from playing partners and you're also then going to give yourself more and more swing thoughts. A swing thought might work for two or three holes 
then you'll lose it and then you'll try and add another one in and now you've got two swing thoughts you'll get it well then you'll add another one in and before you know it, you walked off the golf course with a high score and 10 swing thoughts it's the hardest thing to try and do i always say back to basics grip posture turn into your backswing get a good strong follow through just call upon what should be natural and please 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 keep your head up don't worry about lifting it you don't lift it it's impossible also, don't slow it down, you're just gonna hit it shorter. So get on the golf course, swing with confidence, whether you're playing badly or not, swing with confidence, keep your basic fundamentals in place, grip, posture, rotation, and I can guarantee, if it's a bad day, it's a bad day, but it won't be a really bad day. Guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Thank you for following me on my YouTube channel. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Lots more tips to come right now though. I need a towel.